Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. LCD versus plasma, go. So a plasma is really like the old cathode ray tube televisions. Remember, you know, CRTs. the big, the big right. CRTs, except they're made really squished. And the advantage of that is that you get the very high contrast ratio. You get the very accurate color reproduction. And you actually benefit from some of the fact that it's an analog technology instead of a digital technology on the inside. Hmm. Instead of mapping to individual colors in LC, like an LCD panel where each one lights up as a pixel, you're hitting the little elements inside the phosphors and they're lighting up. So the phosphors have basically an infinite number of colors possible. There's limits to what the circuitry can do. And <clears throat> if you hit a beam and it's off by a little bit, the phosphors still light up around it. So if you're going to display 720p content on a quote-unquote 1080p plasma, it's going to look better than the 720p content on an LCD hmm. does because of that analog element to it. Hmm. The downside to a plasma is you still have color burn that happens over very short periods of time. So if you're playing an Xbox game with the dashboard you know, on the bottom of the HUD, mm -hmm. that'll still be there when it goes away. Like right. it, it goes burn. away after like 10 minutes, but it can be a little disconcerting. And then like I occasionally use my plasma as a you know, Windows desktop machine, because I'll connect it to Hulu or things like that. And the Windows logos will end up on the sides, mm -hmm. or the address bar will be up there for three or four minutes. Plasma also makes this kind of noise constantly. It's called the plasma hiss. Huh. Um, I guess my <clears throat> plasmas aren't that loud. If, if you're three feet away from it, you won't hear it. If you're sitting at it like a desktop, oh okay, you'll definitely hear That's this, probably the, the, yeah. this this bit of noise. Um, so plasmas are very good for video editing because they give you very accurate color. They um, give you very accurate resolution. They also mask a lot of the aliasing issues if you're editing in a resolution other than the the and final did, right. resolution. Um, and because they have such good dynamic range and do it in you know true smoothness unlike the led that we were talking about in the previous video you don't have weird color variations on edges or borders and such like that so plasmas are more expensive to run because they eat a lot more power they weigh a ton <laughs> yeah you know mounting mounting an lcd on your on your wall at 42 inch no big deal Mounting a plasma, you better make sure that you hit the studs and that you've done the, the right stuff because I've cracked drywall putting a plasma television on. Wow. Yeah, because you, you put it I on there I'm and lucky. it'll go, and you're like, oh, and I was probably lucky that it didn't fall off. Wow. Um, and then plasmas also come in larger sizes than LCDs currently. Today. Yeah, and why is that? Um, LCDs are still a tough to manufacture process. You know, they basically grow isn't quite the right world but they're a crystal so you do in fact have to manufacture them and you can't have bad pixels or dead pixels and things like that mm. so they try and make very large lcds and then based on whatever regions don't have bad pixels they cut those to the size so you only get a 110 inch lcd once ever so many batches and makes it impractical right whereas plasma you can just say yes, we're going to make this 300-inch plasma and it's going to work. And you can buy a 300-inch plasma. You can't really buy a 300-inch LCD. Jeez. Hey, well, that's got to be heavy. It's, oh, yeah. They're, they're for places like, like showrooms, Vegas, Vegas yeah, Strips, yeah, yeah. showrooms, those yeah. kinds of those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, plasmas are also very bright. Like, I don't think most people realize how bright. Like, you can, you can watch a plasma... In broad daylight and most LCDs like if you were to actually set them outside they look yeah, really washed yeah, out yeah. and they they lose a lot of their contrast because they don't have that amount of light hmm.